Right, okay, so step three here, we're going to be um, calling out your audience. So what this looks like in the final document is this piece here, and this um, goes at the top of your post because what we want it to do is to attract and repel, um, to call out your ideal client so that the people who identify will keep reading and the ones who don't won't, which is what you want to do with all your marketing. Um, and you do this by including demographic information about them as well as um, something about how, you know, what they're going through at the moment or how they describe themselves. So I've got three templates here for you to kind of use for inspiration. Feel free to play around with them. And here are some examples that I've put together to kind of show you how it looks. So first one is an example for my program. So I've used this template, I think, this is starting point. So I've got a 90 day program. It's my offer for coaches and therapists. So that's my demographic niche who, um, and this is actually the outcome. So I've used this one who, and the big outcome is uh, who want to learn how to write client attraction copy for their business. So that's one way of doing it. Another example here is I have an online fitness program. So this is the offer for working mums. That's demographic who, and in this instance, the have tried and failed at losing weight and keeping it off is actually language that they use. This was um, a client whose project I worked on. And um, this is how they describe themselves and what made them a good fit for this particular program. So another example here is I have a coaching office. So, you know, you can put the time and frame in um, or you don't have to. Um, for and again this is the demographic so in this case service-based business owners who have an established business so this is a little bit of extra qualification you know if you're in this niche of um, business owners or entrepreneurs then you might want to um, distinguish between people who've been in business a bit longer and those who are starting up depending on what your offer is and then here again we've got the language from the audience um, so this is something that someone said that they are fed up with being paid with paying themselves less than they used to earn in corporate. And this language is really important because in this instance, these business owners have you know, started up their own business, um, but they used to be corporate people. So that you know is really dialing in who this offer is for um, in a very succinct way in just one sentence. And then another, um, using this template, just another variation on this, I offer therapy services. So this is your offer to anxious mums. So again, we're sort of dialing in a specific demographic, not just mums, but mums suffering from anxiety specifically, who are struggling to keep up with all the demands of parenthood. And again, this is language that um, the audience has said, and that's how they describe themselves. So all you need to do is take these templates as a starting point and do your um, initial statement to call out your audience. And then when you're done, well, again, bring it to the coaching call and we can work through it together if you want some help. And then when you're happy, uh, go to your framework document and you're pasting it here. So this is the initial sentence to call out your audience and a reminder, this is what it would look like.